has caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. You know, when I moved to Florida, I dreamed of plying my days away and back out of the way places like this, just hunting for giant bass. And in asking around to find these places, one word kept coming up over and over again. And that word, snook. Everyone said the snook was the greatest game fish that ever swam. It was like a bass in every way, but better than a bass in every way. So I had to learn something about this fish just for what it might teach me about bass. And what I found was amazing. A fish so different in appearance and yet so similar in every way. So let's get in the water and see something about this great game fish. A look at the snook shows many almost unique features to a fish. You'll note that it's long and thin like a northern pike, but it has a different kind of streamlining, that being a very scooped down nose. The fish also has a very straight, flat chin and belly so that it can lie very close to the bottom with no water flowing under it. So always look for your snook in high current situations and right on the bottom. Bass, on the other hand, are not so streamlined and not that well adapted to current. They deal with current by getting within structure, like heavy weeds or behind current breaks like dock pilings. Their body profile is much thicker and rounder and more powerful to give them quick lunges of speed, but in calm water, not heavy current. Snook are very versatile, just like the bass, which is why they're such a favorite game fish look at this, look at this. in Florida and southern water. <laughs> The key watchword for catching snook on lures is use the same types of lures you would with bass and fish them fast. There, she's in good shape. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend. <laughs>